Professor Amro Zayed at York University is studying the role that genetics play in honeybee behavior. His research will help us to understand what makes a bee colony more productive. Well, what we try to understand is uh, how differences in, uh, in, in the DNA level at the genetics uh, d cause differences in, in worker behavior. And, and you might one, wonder why worker behavior is important. Uh, col honeybee colonies essentially live or die by how well their workers behave. So remember the workers are the ones that are going out collecting the pollen and nectar. They're the ones that are uh, pollinating. Uh, they're the ones that are, uh, keep the hive uh, clean uh, through hygienic behavior. So really worker behavior is the key. And if, you, if we look in our colony, you'll see that some colonies are really, really productive and some colonies are not. Some colonies are more hygienic, some colonies are not. Some colonies have a high, better immune system and some colonies don't. And we want to understand why. Is, is this uh, nature? Is, is it differences in their uh, DNA or is it nurture, the, the environment that, uh, that they live in, or both? He conducts his research with his students in his lab at York University and at his nearby research apiary where they work with about 60 colonies of bees. And uh, each colony has uh, anywhere between uh, 20 to maybe 80,000 bees. And uh, we have the colonies here, we, do the, we set up the behavior experiments, uh, we observe behavior, uh, we do our uh, bee breeding here, and then when, when, uh, when we're ready to actually study the genetics of the bees, we will take the bees and bring them back to the lab and conduct our uh, genetic analysis on them. From a, from a, uh, a more kind of curiosity-driven science sense, uh, the honeybee actually are a very great model for understanding uh, behavior uh, as a model to understand behavior in, in, in humans and, and in, uh, in our higher organisms. What's really amazing is that you know, all of this uh, beautiful harmony uh, really kind of results from basically the same genetics, the same DNA. And uh, what our lab tries to do is to understand how uh, subtle differences in DNA between variation between colonies and, how, um, and how, how genes get turned on and off uh, to give us this wonderful uh, diversity of behavior that we see in a colony.